Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. This is the Daily Tarot for Wednesday, the 9th, sorry, Thursday, the 9th of September 2021. I've shuffled, so I'm going to cut. And let's see what we have. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. The world. <laughs> and the chariot. Okay. Right, it looks from this as if rather than um, there being a plethora of possibilities on this day and of course in, in any situation there is always a plethora of possibilities. There are two. There is this way and there is that way and um, it might be worth considering what those two options are. It's a great reggae song um, by Jas Stitch from back in the day called There Are Two Roads Before You and You Must Take Your Choice. Um, the world sitting here in the middle shows me that this is something to do with the culmination of uh, something. <laughs> And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse tells me that the time has passed for leaving things open to the fates. It's time to jump. Or is it? Because you see, what we have here is not the lovers. No, it's the chariot. Okay, But we still have two possibilities. In the lovers, we have um, the choice between what is and what can be. And there's a kind of inevitability. We're going to step forward into a, into a new paradigm. And so once we've done that, we can't ever again take ourselves back to how we were before. And we've got a similar sort of idea of choice here. Because with the chariot, we have these two horses. And they're kind of identical. I mean, they're both the same colour, they're both the same sort of strength and same weight, they do the same job, they have the same livery. And yet they have to be managed as one in order for the chariot to move forward, in order for us to reach our goal. Two possibly opposing but definitely self-willed forces have to be managed as one. So what I'm seeing here today is that rather than sort of saying, oh, well, it might go this way and it might go that way, it might go this way or that way. And that's the kind of feeling we get with the Wheel of Fortune. It could go this way or that way. It's like, well, how passive is that? <laughs> okay. It's not time for passivity here. It's time to grab the reins of this, whatever it is. And as I say, manage two things as if they are one or in order to create one forward moving force. The charioteer has to hold the reins of both of these horses and one of them might wanna go one way and the other one might wanna go the other way. And the skill and the courage and the strength of the charioteer consists in holding the two controlling tools, the reins, and giving a little tug on this side and then a little tug on that side and then letting a bit of slack go on this side and letting a bit of slack go on that side and encouraging the horses through voice and intention and the will of the charioteer to act in concert. So what we have here is um, the moving of one 
cycle to another with the world, something's coming to an end and something's beginning. I mean, something in a sense is always coming to an end and beginning, but there's a clear delineation in this and the invitation in moving from the end of one thing, the end of one phase to the start of another phase is to grab hold of the reins and rather than saying it could go this way or that way, because if you adopt that attitude in this context, you ain't going to get anywhere. One horse is going to go off down the lane and, and sort of like munch grass <laughs> by the side of the road and the other horse is just going to sort of like wander off over the bank down to the river and have a little drink and you're just going to be left there. Your job is to marshal this way or that way that it could go, push the it could go to one side, grab the reins and make the two possibilities, two roads before you act as one in order that you move forward using all your skill, all your strength, all your courage and just sheer will to move forward into this new phase. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.